All righty, good morning. My name is Brianna, so welcome to class this morning. Um, today's class will be on the gentler side and it'll go ahead and focus on the lower back. Um, if you have props, go ahead and grab them. Today I'm gonna recommend um, at least one block and a strap. So go ahead, get your strap and take it and keep it close by. We'll go ahead and lay on down. So we'll start laying on our back. And to take pressure off the lower back, go ahead and take the feet as wide as the mat, swing the heels out a little bit, and then let the knees fall into each other. And go ahead and start by taking one hand to your heart, one hand to your lower belly. And if you're comfortable, go ahead and, ahead and close the eyes. If closing the eyes isn't comfortable for you, it's nice to keep a just a gentle gaze toward the ceiling. So just a nice soft focus. Whatever's more comfortable for you. And just start to settle in to your practice this morning. This may be the only chance that you have to slow down today. So really drink it up. And one hand on the heart, one hand on the lower belly, you feel that connection with self. Feel every part of the body touching the earth. So all four corners of the feet, lower back, mid back, upper back, back to the arms, the heads. And just start to get heavy. Just let the side ribs soften down, the facial muscles relax. And go ahead and start to deepen the breath. Breathe in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale for the lower hand. Maybe the breath comes to the top hand. As you exhale, feel the top hand fall and feel the bottom hand fall. So getting this nice rhythm going. Inhale and exhale, let it go. So the breath becomes like a wave. In through the nose and out through the nose. I like to begin practice, practice with a little bit of breath work, a little bit of pranayama. So keep this breath going. And at the bottom of your next exhalation, hold the breath out for a three count. Two, one, in through the nose, pull the breath to the top of the chest and we'll hold it here. Two, one, exhale through the nose, just guiding the breath all the way out, holding it again at the bottom. For three, two, one, inhale through the nose, hold it at the top. Exhale out, pausing at the bottom. One more time, inhale, fill up, hold it at the top. Take an extra sip of air, keep holding the breath. Out the mouth this time, let it go. And go back to normal breathing in and out through the nose. Just notice that little shift that happened just by focusing purposeful on the breath. Go ahead and release the hands away from the body. Softly blink the eyes open if they're not already. Heel toe the feet back to hip distance and go ahead and hug both knees into the chest. One hand to each shin and just do little massages for the lower back. Circle the knees in one direction. Feel the shoulder blades press down on the mat as you're doing this. Go ahead, take the circles the other way. Good, come back to center, both feet flat on the mat. And go ahead and grab your strap. We'll take the strap and loop it over the sole of the right foot. And keep the left knee bent to start. One hand on either side of the strap and then pull the leg into the chest any amount. And if the hamstring's really tight, maybe you wanna bend the right knee and then work it to straighten, just waking up the hamstring nice and easy. A 
and there's a little a action happening in the pelvis area. So try to feel the right hip pull forward just a little bit. So we level out the sacrum. So we keep the right hip pulling forward. And then when you're ready, go ahead and straighten the left leg and take the left heel to the mat. Flex the left toes as you're pulling the right leg into the chest. Good. So feel the right hip crease continue to move forward. And with the left leg straightened, feel the left inner thigh spiral down a little bit. That's a little counter action. Very subtle. See if you can just feel it in your body. Good. Both ends of the strap in the right hand. Take the left hand, let it slide down the left thigh, and then gently open up the leg. Just out to the side and keeping the left hip heavy. So only go as far as your body will take it. If the left hip starts lifting up, just come out a little bit. So both sit bones are on the mat. Nice. That looks great, Michael. Three more breaths. Relax the shoulders, soften the jaw. One more deep breath in. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale the leg all the way back up. We'll take a twist. Both straps in the left hand, right arm out to the side. Gently take it across the body for a twist. And if you have a block nearby, maybe you take that block underneath the right leg. Just to let the leg relax a little more. So we're getting into the IT band. So feel a nice stretch. Reach a lot through the right hand. And if you want to take it a bit further, gaze over the right fingertips. Three more breaths. So we can use the breath to send it to that part of the body that you feel a nice stretch. Inhale the leg all the way back to center, and then release it. Both feet flat on the mat, bend the knees, level out the hips. Take a moment, just feel one side's different, and go ahead and do the other side, left leg in the strap, both hands on either side of the strap. Maybe you wanna loop it, and then pull the left leg into the chest. Any amount, maybe you bend the left leg, work to straight. Just feel that little action happening in the left hip. So see if you can draw it forward just a bit. And when you're ready, straighten out the right leg, flex the right toes. Mm -hmm. Left hip pulling forward, right inner thigh spiraling down. So we get the entire back body even and level. Three more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull the leg an inch in closer. Just being really mindful. Both ends of the strap in the left hand. Right hand slides down the right thigh, nice and easy. Take it over to the left. Without that right hip lifting up, so weigh it down. Inhale the leg all the way back to center. Take a twist. Both ends of the strap in the right hand. Left arm out to the side. Maybe take your block. Maybe the left leg comes to the block. Or maybe you don't need it. Reach a lot through the left hand. Maybe gazing over the left fingertips. Nice deep breath in. Nice long exhale out. Two more breaths. Inhale the leg all the way back to center. Let go of the strap. Both feet flat on the mat. Level out the hips, and then go ahead and hug both knees into the chest, and we'll find a happy baby. So grab the outer edges of the feet, 
or perhaps you grab behind the knees. We just want to get the ankles right above the knees. So yeah, see if you can lift your ankles a little higher, Michael, so they're stacked right above the legs and open up the legs so the feet become out, feet become apart. Yeah, so take the feet and splay them out. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and grab the backs of the knees and just weigh the hips down. Uh-huh. So tailbones pressing down, back bodies on the mat. Take three breaths. Yeah, maybe it feels good to rock a little side to side. Good, join the knees together, grab the backs of the legs, and then go ahead and rock head to tail. So just a little rock forward and back. And once you get enough momentum, come up to a seated position. Mm -hmm. If you have something to sit on, go ahead and grab it, maybe a blanket or a pillow. Just elevate the sit bones a little bit. And we'll take Sukhasana, so go ahead and cross with the ankles or the shins. Whatever is comfortable, sit up nice and tall. I'll go ahead, uh, right ear to right shoulder. Chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Just a few half circles, just rolling out the neck. Chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder. And chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Go ahead, take it over to the right. And if you want to deepen it, Take the right hand over the left ear and just gently weigh the neck down. And then start to walk the left fingertips out a little bit so you feel an even deeper stretch. And go ahead and explore here. So if you wanna lift the chin, just find that sweet spot and hang out and breathe. And slowly let that go, chin to chest, take it over to the left. And then go ahead, weigh the head down, just very gently. And then if you wanna deepen it, go ahead and walk the right fingers out a little bit more. Maybe look up, maybe look down, just find that little sweet spot. One side's usually different. And let that go. Bring the chin to the chest, interlace the hands, and gently take it behind the head. And just weigh the back of the neck. Just let gravity do the work here, so no hard, vigorous effort. And slowly let that go. Lift the chin so it's parallel to the floor. We'll sweep the arms up and over the head. Nice deep breath in. Gather it up. Feel the palms, exhale to hands to heart. Go ahead and lower the mind down towards the fingertips. And if you'd like to set an intention for your practice or maybe your, your day, what do you need to work on today? What are you calling in? Just a little intention helps make your day and practice so much more purposeful. So you're not moving through the motions aimlessly. There's actually a purpose towards it. So once you have that intention in place, nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the thighs, lift the chin and softly blink the eyes open. I'll go ahead and walk the hands out in front for a little hip opener. Any amount, nice and slowly, just come into your edge and allow the hips to get heavy. And if you have a block nearby, maybe you take your forehead to a block just to make this pose a little more relaxing. And we'll go ahead and take five deep breaths. So reach the arms as far forward as you can. Allow the shoulders to melt down, hips stay heavy. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Nice long, smooth exhale. We'll come up onto the tips of the fingers. Go ahead and walk over to the, the right. So one hand's on either side of the right thigh. Come up just a little bit with the torso and twist the navel towards the right thigh and fold. 
that is nice and easy. And sometimes it's a habit, the left sit bone likes to lift up. Can you anchor them both down? Nice, right arm will stay alongside the hip, left arm sweep it up and over for a lateral stretch. Mm-hmm. And it's tempting to collapse the chest. Can you spin the chest to the ceiling? And again, left hip stays heavy. So we weigh that left hip down. And if it's all right in your neck, gaze up underneath the top arm. If you want to relax the neck, go ahead and look down or to the side of the room. Inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale, release. Go ahead and switch the crossing of the ankles or the shins. So other shin on top, flex the feet, sit up nice and tall, and then we'll forward fold again. So walk the hands out. Just this side might be a little tighter or looser. Just take a little mental note. Reach as far forward as you can. Maybe forehead comes to a block. Allow everything to get heavy. Sit bones heavy, chest melting down. Forehead to the block. Nice cleansing breath in. Nice long, smooth exhales. Good. Come up onto the fingertips again. Walk over to the left. One hand on either side of the left thigh. Come up a little bit with the torso. Spin the navel and fold. And again, coming to your edge, stay in here and breathing. Right sit bone, make it heavy. Left arm stays, right arm up and over the ear. Lateral stretch. Right rib cage, spin it back just a little bit. Maybe look down to relax the neck to the side of the room or gaze up. Your choice. Just go within, go within yourself, see how your body's doing today. Every day we make it to our mat, it's always so different. So what's today telling you? And nice and easy, come all the way up. And exhale, release it down. Good, we'll come up onto hands and knees. So tabletop position, we'll get the body moving just a little bit. If you have something to pat up the knees, go ahead and take a blanket or a pillow, pat up the knees. And we'll do a few rounds of cat-cow just to get a little movement going on in the spine. Spread the fingers, all 10 toes pressing. Feet are about hips distance. Inhale, lift the chest. Cat stretch or cow stretch, excuse me, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round the back. So the tailbone rounds, the shoulders spread apart. Inhale, tailbone lifts, chest pulls through the upper arms. As you exhale, press the mat away, tailbone rounds, navels in. Relax the head. Inhale to come forward. And exhale to pull it back and round. Go with your own breath. Inhale to lift. And exhale to round. Do about three more. And then at the bottom of your next exhalation, go ahead and find a neutral spine. So allow the navel to hug in and up just a little bit. Go ahead and extend the right foot straight back. Keep the foot on the floor. So we'll just reach the heel back so we get into the calf. And as you're doing that, pull the chest forward. Lower bellies in just a little bit to protect the lower back. When you're ready, lift the right leg up about hip height, toes down. So a little bit of core stability. And if you'd like, Left arm alongside the ear, reach it forward like you're shaking someone's hand. So alternate arm and leg lifts. Lower belly is still drawing in and up. Your body's moving in two directions. Inhale, reach. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Set the limbs down at the same time. Inhale, cow stretch. Lift the chest. And exhale, round the back for cat. Come and find a neutral spine. Lower belly in. Left leg extended back. Reach through the left heel. Pull the chest forward. When you're ready, left leg lifted up about hip height. Keep the lower belly in. And when you're ready, right arm alongside the ear like you're shaking someone's hand. And breathe. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale, set the limbs down. Big toes to touch, child's pose. Separate the knees, sink the hips down toward the heels. Reach the arms as far forward as you can. So, and the hands are about shoulder distance, maybe a little wider. And forehead comes to the mat or maybe on a block. We're not gonna be here long, just enough for three breaths. So energize the arms, all 10 fingers are pressing down. See if you can lift the forearms up a little bit away from the mat and firm the outer arms in. So the arms are really active here. We'll take this into a downward facing dog. Go ahead, lift the hips. Try not to change anything in the arms. Curl the toes under. Hips up and back, downward dog. Go ahead and bend the knees. Bend the knees a lot. Sink the chest down. So press a lot into the mat. Reach the hips up high. And then any amount, you can start to straighten the legs and descend the heels down. If straightening the legs hurts the lower back at all, or if you have tight hamstrings, go ahead and bend the knees the entire time. And just work on elongating the spine, so reaching the hips a little higher. Two more breaths. Good. Go ahead and walk the hands back to the feet or maybe the feet to the hands. Keep the feet hips distance. Bend the knees a lot and take a forward fold, Uttanasana. So the feet are hips distance apart. Yep, bend the knees and just let the crown of the head hang down. Go ahead and grab onto elbows. Sway a little side to side. Release the arms, other arm on top. Release the hands, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands come to the shins. Flat back, reach the chest forward. Uh huh. Exhale, Uttanasana. Fold. You can keep the knees bent. Inhale, Arda. Halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay lifted. Hands to hips. Elbows in. Put a little bend in the knees as you rise all the way up. Whoo! And then go ahead and step to the front of the mat. Hope you're feeling good. And then feet will stay hips distance because we want a little spaciousness in the lower back. So everything we do today, feet will stay hips distance. We'll do a few rounds of sun salutations. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> There's a glare. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, so spin the palms forward. Find your Tadasana, chin parallel to the floor. All four corners of the feet rooting, chest is lifting. Go ahead, root the feet, inhale, arms rise. Hug the navel back slightly as you lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go, bend the knees as you come down as much as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift for Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Root the feet, come all the way to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Few more rounds, just a couple more rounds of half sun salutations. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees as you go down. Inhale, Arda, lift the chest. Knees can stay a little bent. Exhale, fold on down. Root the feet, come all the way up. 
Exhale, hands to heart. We'll add on this time. Inhale, root the feet, arms rise. Exhale, fold on down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step back to plank pose. Feel free to lower the knees down if you'd like, or stay in plank pose. So we'll just build a little strength. Lower belly, hug it in and up just a little bit and feel the body move in two directions. Heels press back, breastbone pulls forward. Mm -hmm. One more breath. Lower the knees down. Shift the shoulders over the wrists. Elbows stay in, lowering all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes, low cobra. Inhale, peel the chest forward and up. Exhale, lower back down. Press into the feet. Inhale, low cobra. Lift just the chest. Just a little baby cobra. Nothing too deep. Exhale, lower down. Press into the feet. Maybe you stay with low cobra. If you want, if it's okay in the lower back, try to straighten your arms for an upward dog. Shoulders back, press into the feet, lift the thighs. If this is killing your lower back, just stay with low cobra. Exhale, lower all the way down. Curl the toes under. And then go ahead, press to all fours. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Hips up and back. Keep the knees bent. Go ahead and lower the knees. Come to a tabletop position. We'll step the right foot all the way up. Back toes can stay curled or released. I personally like them curled. We'll come up to a low lunge. So sink the hips down. Come up onto the top of the right thigh. Mm -hmm. Lower bellies in and up just a little bit. Inhale, arms up. When you got nice and stable, nice. So we want to, for stability, drive the right heel down. And we want to firm the outer hips in. So feel the outer hips firm in a little bit. Go ahead, grab a hold of the left wrist. Inhale, go up. Exhale, over to the right. Just nice and gently getting into the psoas. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Charge at the back leg, a runner's lunge. Take a twist, left palm down, right arm to sky. Exhale, right hand down, step forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, feet hips distance. Exhale, Uttanasana fold, knees bent. Bend the knees, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, root the feet, arms rise. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step back, plank pose. We'll move through one vinyasa. Feel free to lower the knees, shoot the shoulders over the wrists, lower all the way to your belly. Tuck, untuck the toes, low cobra or upward dog, your choice. Exhale, down dog. Hips up and back. Feet are about hip distance. Go ahead and keep the knees bent. Two breaths. Good, lower the knees down. Come up to a tabletop position again. Left foot, step it all the way up. And you may need to pop your back foot back just a little bit. Come up onto the top of the left thigh when you're ready. Low lunge, Anjaneyasana, lift the arms. <sighs> nice. Firm the outer hips in a little bit so we stabilize the pelvis. Go ahead and grab the right wrist. Inhale, go up. Exhale, over to the left. Nice and easy. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Make sure you're breathing. Charge up the back leg. Plant the right palm, left arm to the sky. Twist it open. 
Exhale, left hand down, step forward. Feet hips distance, Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Good, bend the knees a lot, find a chair pose. Sit down, lift the arms. Sink the hips down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can keep the hands to your heart if you'd like, or arms up, your choice, or hands to hips even. So look down at your feet. Can you see your toes? If you can't see your toes, shift back just a little bit more. Think a little bit lower. Inhale, stand all the way up. Reach the arms, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Go ahead and step the feet wide apart. We'll do two standing poses and then we'll relax a little more. Sound good? <laughs> okay. So step the feet wide apart. And a good way to indicate is if the wrists are lined up right underneath the ankles. It's a good way to indicate. Toes are parallel, hands to hips. So from deep within the right hip socket, we don't want the torque to come to the knee. So we want the rotation to come from the hip. So the rotation, turn the right leg all the way off to the side. Angle the back toes in slightly. We'll make our way into a warrior two. So go ahead and bend the right knee. Hands to the torso, square the torso towards the side of the room. You got it? Yep. Yeah, you were right the first time. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and look down at your knee. Is your knee buckling in at all? If that's the case, wrap the right hip under. So it's a little weird action. So the right hip's going to wrap under, left rib cage is going to spin back. When you're ready, open the arms. A lot of little micro movements. Nice. Warrior two. Let's go ahead, bend the knee so it's right over the ankle. Relax the shoulders. Find some lightness. The legs are working intensely, but the top half, see if you can find some lightness here. Nice. Inhale, straighten the leg, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, rebend into warrior two. Inhale, like you're moving through water, straighten the front leg, lift it up. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, last time. Exhale, rebend. Turn the palm, reverse, uh, yeah, reverse. Top hand up, back hand on the back thigh. Inhale, come all the way back up. Straighten out the front leg. Huh. Maybe you gotta shorten your stance. I have to, it's a little funky in my body. So legs as straight as you can, we'll go, go into triangle pose. Reach forward and then take the right hand to a block on the outside of the ankle. Left hand spins the rib cage. The hand can stay on the hip or if you wanna straighten it, you can straighten it to the sky. I personally like it on the hip, so then you can work the twist and work the shoulder back. Mm-hmm. Trikonasana. So the weight shifted into the mound of the big toe. So weigh the mound of the big toe down, but simultaneously, can you wrap the right hip under? Mm -hmm. So we get the kneecap to point forward. A little micro bend in the front leg and feel the left rib spinning back. So the chest is lifting towards the sky. Good. If it's all right in your neck, look up. Maybe the top hand lifts. If it's not, just go ahead, stay where you were with the hand on the hip. Maybe look into the side of the room or even down. Two more breaths. Hug the navel back just a little bit. Nice. Go ahead, look down, bend the knee a little bit, come all the way up to stand. And then hands down, and we'll parallel the feet. If we bring the hands to the hips, we'll do it the other side. So from the rotation from the left hip 
Revolve the leg out to the side, angle the toes. We'll square the torso, bend the knee, arms out to the side, find your warrior two. And without that knee buckling in, we want to work the left hip, wrap it under. So we work the left glute. And gazing over the left fingertips. It's a nice little soft gaze. And we're breathing. Inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. Good. Inhale. Straighten the leg. Lift the arms. And exhale. Rebend. Inhale. Straighten. Lift the arms. Nice. Exhale. Rebend. Inhale. Last time. Lift it up. Exhale, rebend, turn the palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, come all the way back, warrior two. Straighten out the front left leg, give it a break, maybe shorten your stance. If you have a block, go ahead and move the block to the other side. Arms out to the side, hinge from the hips, and then take the left hand to the block, right hand to hip just to start. So a lot of weight press into the mound of the big toe. Left hip, feel it wrap under. And then start to spin the rib cage. So let right shoulder spin it back. Mm -hmm. And breathe in through the nose. Make sure the breath is flowing. Nice exhale. Maybe you stay here with the hand on the hip if it's all right in the neck. And if it's all right in the arm and the shoulder, reach the top arm up. Three more deep breaths. Navel's hugging back just a bit. Good, go ahead and look down, press into the feet, inhale, come all the way up, pants to hips, parallel the feet. Good, we'll heel toe the feet together, probably feels nice, <laughs> go ahead and shake it out. Mm -hmm. We'll do one balance pose and then we'll cool down, I lied, yoga teachers tend to lie. <laughs> so we'll do a tree pose, so go ahead, hands to hips. Find a little focal point, some like a drishti. We call it a drishti. So it helps with balance. Go ahead, find all four corners of the left foot, right leg lifted up. We'll revolve the right leg out to the side, and then you can choose a modification. The foot can stay next to the ankle, on the shin, or all the way up on the inner thigh. We just don't want it on the knee joint. The hips like to veer off for the ride, try to get the, those two hip points to point forward. Nice. And once you feel nice and stable, hands to heart. And for stability, the straight leg, so that left leg, see if you can firm the left hip in and up just a little bit. So that left hip's active. Good, maybe the hands stay at the heart. Maybe you want to grow your tree. Maybe arms come up like branches. Yeah, I love it. Any variation, maybe one hand to heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to find a mudra, love it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Two more breaths. Good. And then everyone put the hands to the heart. Don't tap that foot down yet. Inhale, right knee up, and then lower it on down. Shake out that standing leg, yep. <laughs> we'll do the other side. Hands to hips, maybe you have to go to a wall too if you need. Find your focus, left leg up. Revolve it out to the side, and then choose a modification. Ankle, shin, or inner thigh. If you fall out, fall back in. Square the hips, hands to heart. And for stability, we want that standing leg to firm in and up. So activate that right hip. 
Maybe you grow your tree, any expression you want. Maybe you want to sway a little bit, challenge your balance. <laughs> Three more breaths. Nice. And then hands to heart. Don't lower the leg yet. Inhale, lift it up. And then exhale, lower it down. Go ahead, shake it out. We'll just clear the energy. If you have a prop in your way, move it out. Step to the front of the mat. We'll just do one sun salutation just to clear. Root into the feet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold on down. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, plank. Can move through a vinyasa or skip it if you'd like. All the way to your belly, lower down. Through your back bend of choice, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. Exhale it out. Go ahead, lower the knees down, child's pose. Separate the knees, big toes to touch, sink the hips down. Reach the arms forward, forehead to the mat, or maybe you have a block. You want to take your forehead to a block. Inhale, come all the way up onto all fours. We'll swing the hips around and make your way onto your back. Thank you for adjusting the camera. Love it. <laughs> Grab your block. Go ahead and bend the knees. We'll press into the heels and take the block horizontal underneath the tailbone. So right underneath the lower back, you'll feel that little sweet spot. And go ahead and drop the hips to let the block support the lower back. Bring the palms down alongside your hips and then reach the legs to the sky for Viparita Karani. Nice. Palms can face down or up, your choice. Feel free to close the eyes. We'll be here for one minute just to get the benefits of this full pose. So this is a little cooling inversion. Inversions change the blood flow in the body. So let the blood start to run down the legs, come into the belly. Inversions also change our perspective, slow down the nervous system. Some actually can. This, this pose specifically slows the nervous system down. It also reduces blood pressure. So just let gravity do the work. About 30 more seconds.
and then slowly start to shake the legs. Just little shakes. And then release it down. So bring both feet flat on the mat. Press into the feet, lift the hips, and remove that block out of the way. Take the hips back down. We'll do a few dynamic bridge poses. So walk the feet in towards the hips. Legs are about hip distance, toes are parallel. We'll inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips and lift the arms up and overhead. To protect the lower back, we wanna see if we can press the tailbone towards the front of the mat. Exhale, lower hips, lower hands. I'll just synchronize breath with movement. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower hips, lower hands. Inhale, press into the feet. Lift the hips, lift the arms. Tailbone forward. Exhale, lower hips, lower hands. Two more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, set them down at the same time. Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good. Take the feet as wide as the mat. Windshield wiper the legs side to side. So drop the knees to the right and then take it over to the left, nice and easy. Once you drop the knees over to the right, maybe you just wanna hang out over here, or if you wanna deepen it, take the right ankle and cross it over the left knee. Let that go. Inhale, legs to center and over to the left. Maybe you hang out here or take the left ankle, cross it over the right knee to weigh it down. Slowly let that go. Knees all the way back to center. You can roll off to one side or rock yourself up to a seat. Feel free to grab a blanket or a pillow if you need to sit up on it. We'll straighten out both legs. Sit up nice and tall. Right knee bends. We'll take Janu Shirshasana. So bend the right leg. You can take the foot on the calf or all the way up on the inner thigh. If you have a block and your knees lifting up, you can place that block underneath the right knee. You might not need it. Your, your posture looks pretty good. Inhale, lift all the way up. Twisting toward the left leg and then go ahead and fold on down. Maybe you can catch your foot or if you have a strap nearby, go ahead and grab your strap, loop it over the sole of the left foot. Inhale to re-lengthen the spine, so lift the chest. Keep a nice long spine as you fold. And again, just coming to your edge and pausing here. Slowly come all the way back up. Help the knee up to center and then straighten out the right leg. Shake it out. We'll do the other side, left knee bends. Revolve the leg if you need a block, place the block under the left thigh and loop the strap over the right foot. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale. Little spin to the right leg and fold. So this pose has a little bit of everything. There's a forward fold, a little twist, and a hip action hip opener with that left hip.
Nice and slowly come all the way back up. Help the left knee to center and then straighten out both legs. Give the legs a little shake. Keep the feet about hips distance, maybe a little wider. Loop, both, loop the strap over both feet. If you know you're gonna need it, inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, forward fold. A little bit hinging from the hips and just making your way to your edge. So keep the spine as long as you can. It'll eventually round, but we wanna keep the spine as long as we can get it. And inhale, come all the way back up. Release the strap. Any props in your way, let them go. Bend the knees, come off your pillow or blanket if you're sitting up on one. And grab the backs of the knees as you roll all the way down. Now once you land, hug both knees into the chest. Right knee stays, left leg extends out. We'll take a twist, right arm out to the side. Cut the right leg across the body. Inhale, come all the way back to center. Switch it up, left knee in, right leg out. Left arm out to the side, and then just take a little twist over to the right. Inhale, come all the way back to center. Level out both hips, take a happy baby, a final happy baby, grab the backs of the knees or the outer edges of the feet. Maybe rock a little side to side. Go ahead, bring the soles of the feet together in Baddha Konasana and pull the outer edges of the feet in towards the chest. The little butterfly pose. See if you could press the tailbone down a little more, shoulders soft, close the eyes. Five deep breaths. Every exhale, see if you can press the breath down into the hips. Nice deep breath in, exhale, the breath down, down, down. Inhale, fill up. Exhale right into the hips. And slowly let that go. Wrap your hands around the shins. Curl up in a tight little ball. Forehead comes to the knees. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then make your way into Shavasana. So straighten out the legs. Shavasana, take the arms out to the side. If the legs straight or hurt in your lower back, just go ahead and take them as we started. So bend the knees and swing the heels out. That's an option as well. So just allow gravity to do the work. Let go of any controlled breathing. Close the eyes. And just surrender here in this last final pose. Releasing, relaxing, and letting everything go.
feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, just very gently bring some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Turn the head one way and turn the head the other way. If you want to give yourself a final stretch, reach your arms up and overhead. Take a full body stretch. And very slowly bending the knees. Make your way up to any comfortable seat. And we'll close out in a little seated meditation. So if you're comfortable, keep the eyes closed. Let the palms rest on the top of the thighs for a little more grounding energy to face down. If you want to receive a little bit, spin the palms up. Just take this moment just to bring everything back into balance. Noticing how you feel mentally, physically, energetically. If you set an intention at the beginning of class, to see if it still resonates, it may have changed. Keeping the eyes closed, go ahead, sweep the arms up and over the head. Just gathering it all up. Feel the palms at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice and slowly drawing it down the center line. Lower the mind down towards the fingertips. In honor of yourself, your practice, and each other. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, check us out at urbanyoga.org. Please donate. And we're also doing park classes at Rue Party Park Thursday through Sunday. So go ahead and check that out and drink lots of water. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.